I've been working at the intersection of technology and gender-based violence for 20 years now, and more recently in the emerging area of public interest technology or technology in service of people and planet and not just profit. Um, <clears throat> it's my sense that the metaverse has a lot of hype, a lot of momentum, uh, the previous iterations and this current one. I have concerns about it. Uh, I have concerns about the generation, the direction of technology generally. What happens when we go from always on to always in as it becomes more and more immersive? You know, I, I have loved technology since I was little. I programmed my Commodore 64. I roamed the early web. I got on social media, played around in VR. So it's not that I'm anti-technology, but I've also seen the risks and the harms as we move online from the real world. Uh, whatever the real world is. It's not just one more place where messy human problems turn up. Digital technologies accelerate and amplify hate, harassment, abuse, and disparities of access, as the other speakers have, have been talking about. Um, and so I think that there's also no going backward, though. Where you can't go into some rear view mirror, paleo diet, idealized past with no technology. Um, harnessing technology was, uh, harnessing fire was technology. Cuneiform tablets were technology, uh, just as much as molecular gastronomy is technology today. This dichotomy between us and our technology is a false binary. Like Donna Haraway said, we're cyborgs. Our, our tech has shaped us as much as we shape our technology. There are microplastics inside me, and it was in the milk that I fed my babies, right? The shape of my bones, my height, is the result of thousands of years of agricultural technology. So I don't think that we can separate a space that is online or is the metaverse from the real world anymore. Um, I think, you know, as technologists, we can go back and forth about what those lines are, and that's important as we shape standards and laws and design technology. But for the average person who is experiencing this or who is excluded from it, that distinction is is blurry. So maybe the metaverse can give us this power or potential to move beyond false binaries, beyond the binary between physical and spiritual, real and imagined, us and our technology, humans and the rest of earth, uh, beyond gender even. But not as long as the rules of the game continue to be written by the very few for the very many. Um, as others have said, like I've, I've read and I love Neil Stevenson's books and William Gibson's. I also love Ursula K. Le Guin and N.K. Jemisin and Octavia Butler, right? The worlds that we build and the futures we're envisioning need to include many voices. And we urgently need to reconfigure how we establish and maintain trust in each other, in information, perhaps even trust in ourselves. <laughs>